Hello and welcome to Giles, Gestural Interval Learning Exercises. The immediate recognition and description of the 13 enharmonic intervals within the octave is a quest that students of music regularly undertake but rarely actually achieve. The problem lies in a disconnect, a disconnect between the sound heard and the sound recognised when the task is undertaken without recourse to an instrument. During the 11th century, Guido de Arezzo is known to have used the joints on the hand to help music students recognise and sing intervals from hexachords. This research considers a rethinking of the tool with regard to recent investigations into corporeal intentionality and presents a methodology for the 21st century musician. In the June of 2007, the first iPhone was launched and the arrival of this smartphone with its multi-touch interface, fundamentally changed the way in which a generation access and engage with knowledge. Indeed, it is worth remembering that many current finalists on undergraduate programmes were only 13 when this device was first released, and that the majority of current UK school pupils are growing up either owning or having access to a multi-touch screen technology, and thereby assimilating its associated motion gestures into their learned behaviour patterns. It is the physical action of using the smartphone that I'm interested in and that the corporeal intention of the hand being an active agent of knowledge interaction has become a relatively common action of the eye generation. One of the reasons why this action is so powerful could be due to recent neuroscientific discoveries in regard to mirror neurons which appear to fire simultaneously between observed and heard gestures. To put this simply, and to rephrase the research of Kohler et al. in their paper, Hearing Sounds, Understanding Actions, of 2002, they say, these audiovisual mirror neurons could be used to execute actions of our body gestures and to recognise the action of sounds heard by evoking these motor ideas. I would add that these audiovisual mirror neurons could be used to execute actions of our body gestures, such as the hand actions of pointing from thumb to the joints of the hand, and to recognise the action of sounds heard, such as musical intervals, by evoking these motor ideas of pointing to the joints of the hand. This may well explain the success of not only the Gadonian hand, but also other oral recognition methods, such as those proposed by Kodai and Kerwin. So why, therefore, do we need another method? The reason is because it is a simple set of three exercises that can be completed without the need for specialist training, and it is a method that speaks to the eye generation. I've trialled this research at Newcastle University with our students and asked them to keep a diary of their progress in using this method. Now, whilst there have been varying degrees of success, it's interesting to note that all students declared a sense of improvement and recorded an increase in their oral recognition abilities. It's my hope that these three short exercises are useful to students and musicians and indeed anybody who hopes to improve their oral recognition abilities. Thank you for taking the time to watch these videos and if you'd like to contact me in regard to this research or if you have any questions for me please feel free to do so using the information on the following screen thank you for watching